Hi, hey, welcome to the system. It's Mate. It's Arch Linux. Arch Linux is based on Arch with a lot of configurations. So the look that we're having now is a new look from for Mate, and it really doesn't matter on what system I'm going to make this tutorial. And the tutorial is about build your own Arch Linux ISO, but this time for Qtile. So we still need to write some articles about Qtile, or 13, so number 13, desktops, all to choose from. And there is a full ISO and there is a minimal ISO. It's just one file and it, that's the only difference between both of them. And in the file is or all the packages you would like on your ISO. You can change it as much as you like. That's the point of Arch Linux B. Change it. So Arch Linux B is a GitHub you can go to and if you go for Qtile you can see there is also a minimal one. I just made a video about Qtile so this time I'm gonna download and make Qtile minimal. We are going to copy paste this URL that's basically what we do when we push on this button and then go to open in terminal git clone it from the net so it's a copy paste basically and the difference between the Qtile and Qtile Minimal is that we've left out a lot of software. That's basically it, nothing more, nothing less. Maybe we can still get it out of the trash. So this one and then restore. The difference between Qtile and Qtile Minimal is interesting to know, but let's uh, launch Tunar for that. Tunar is available on Mate. It's available on most of our systems because well, I want to teach you something and I can't in Mate. I'm going to click here and select and compare. That's Tunar for you. All the custom actions are available. The only difference, well, we can look at this and the difference is a name. Okay, fine. We can look at this and the difference is a name. Qtile, Qtile Minimal. But the basic thing is this one. The only thing I've done is took out some Lego blocks, like I always say. You don't, so the right one is the minimal, this one is the full. Well, I put a hashtag in front of Atom. Atom will not be on the ISO. Chromium will not be on the ISO. No evolution for you, no Firefox for you. So one browser is left, Vivaldi. No Genie, no calculator, and no GIMP, and no Inkscape, and all that stuff that you see here, that's, that's blue. That's why Melt is so interesting. It's so... It's, it gives you such a fast overview of what's the difference between a full ISO and a minimal ISO. And that's the point. Some people ask, hey, uh, what do I unselect? Well, this is how I did it. Use Melt and say, will I install this? Will I install that? You maybe say, okay, I don't want to have, um, don't like to have GNOME, disk utility. Okay, and then you put a hashtag in front of it. It's not installed on your ISO. But the point is first, get to know the packages, know your Lego blocks and say, oh, that one I don't need, that one I don't need, htop, and I've used htop, etc. You can just skip things that you don't want to install. That's the freedom in Arch Linux B. Also, by the way, in Arch Linux D, but it, then it's scripting and it's in a black screen and it's different. This is building an ISO. You go to your installation scripts. So after you've changed everything in here, you can do open it like this as well and go over them. Um, by the way, tip, put it to Perl. Everything that's black is not installed, so you don't need to bother about those. But everything that's white is going to be installed. Let's burn it already. So installation scripts, right mouse click, open in terminal, run number 30. The rest is all maintenance scripts that I use. Not interesting for you guys, but number 30. That's the only number you should keep in your head. It's in all the tutorials, the same thing. So the only thing we have to do now is make sure we have internet. Yeah. Pay maybe for a faster internet because it gets everything from the net. It doesn't, it's not at your home, you know, it's um, coming from there. So depending on your hardware, depending on your network connection, it will be fast or it will be very slow or somewhere in between. I'm gonna wait for the video, the long, the other video about uh, Arch Linux B Qtile. I've been talking, I've kept talking all the time, but uh, this point it's 
well, I point you to the other video to hear me talk about more de about this uh, process and about Arctic Lynx B in more detail. But in the minimal, I'm just gonna pause and watch what comes out at the end. The advantage of this guy is that it's actually, well, fast. <laughs> Why? Because 600 megabyte less has been put on this ISO. It means of course also that you need to install a lot of stuff because maybe you've done, in this case, if you don't change any of the packages, you just have one browser and one editor or maybe two, but you'll have to install more elements later on. But that's why these scripts are there. And you can always have a look at the Nemesis script. This is what we do after any clean installation. Our ISO, our full ISO even, is not big enough. We install stuff like Spotify and Dropbox and Insync, stuff that are not on the ISO that we actually do need on our workflow. So it's all up to you. But the result is in Arclinix B out, we have now two guys, the one from the minimal one and the one that's the full ISO. So it's all up to you what you decide. The example, why did we create a minimal? Just an example that you know that you can change the Arclinix B ISOs any way you see fit. It's giving the power to the people. You decide what comes on your ISO and then it's full freedom. All right, cheers.